Hey, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to get sound from your Universal Audio Apollo Twin X USB into OBS. So I just got this thing a couple days ago and I went to go and use OBS yesterday for the first time. And for the life of me, I could not get audio into OBS. I went on the forums, I went on YouTube, I read all kinds of nonsense about ASIO and base ASIO and banana meter or whatever the hell that was. Um, could, couldn't figure it out to save my life. I downloaded all kinds of stuff, F FL Studio or something like that. Um, I installed so much software and uninstalled so much software, it, it drove me nuts. I, I literally fought with this thing last night for about 10 hours. Uh, I finally, finally figured it out. And it turns out that I already had the solution on my system. Uh, as many of you other OBS users probably also have if you do any kind of streaming, right? You use the virtual camera in OBS. So you use a virtual cable then to take your composited images and audio and then send that off to whatever streaming platform you're going to use, right? Right. Cool. So that's exactly what I used. Now, before I get into this, watch the entire video before you start trying to do any of this stuff. Otherwise, you're probably going to wind up in a situation where you don't have any audio. And I'll explain why that's going to happen quick and in, in during this process. And I'll show you how to fix it, right? As you can tell, this video is just quick, dirty. I just want to get this information out there because it drove me nuts. And this solution is so simple and so free and takes 90 seconds to put together. That you can forget about all that other confusing nonsense. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so here you can see the settings that I'm using with this this kind of goofy sounding audio, right? I, I maybe should drop that de-esser onto the, onto the input chain here. But um, again, I just got this thing two days ago. I don't know what all these settings are just quite yet, right? I've got a, a gate down here and a little bit of compression, uh, some noise reduction in there, which is nice. Um, a little more compression here, but uh, in, in any event, we're not here to look at my console app. But you can see that I've got sound coming out of here. And of course, here's my input. Uh, the input in this case is a Rode NTG3. It's about 14 or 16 inches from my mouth, just out of frame here. Um, so kind of give you an idea of what that sounds like. But anyhow, here's how we fix this. Go to vb-audio.com slash cable and download this VB cable virtual audio device. Again, anybody that does any kind of streaming, you probably already have this to use with the virtual camera that's in OBS, right? So if that's the case and you already have this and you're already using it, then you're gonna have to do what I did and you're gonna have to buy VB cable A plus B, right? So that's only if you wanna continue to use the streaming, if you were even using that, maybe you're not, maybe you're just using OBS to record like I'm doing right now, right? But if you're streaming, you'll have to get this. It's five euros. I know I live in the US, I have no idea what that is with Six bucks, seven bucks, cheap, right? Totally worth it. Anyhow, download that, install it, restart your system, and then open up sound. Go to recording, and here we've got line, right? And so you can see cable output, cable A output, cable B output, right? So when you install these other cables, it's probably gonna change your default device here for recording. And, but more importantly, the reason why you're temporarily gonna lose sound is under playback, it's also going to change your default playback device probably. So just come back here, highlight speakers and click set as default, and then you'll get your audio back. But that's really, really frustrating if you're like halfway through a YouTube video trying to follow along and then all of a sudden the audio disappears and now you can't even hear what's going on in the YouTube video. So like I said, watch the whole thing through first and then right. Okay, so download the virtual cable, install it, and then come over here to line. I like that and go to properties. And then we're going to go to listen. This box is unchecked by default, right? So you want to check this box to listen to this device. And then where it says playback through this device, come in here and select cable input. Okay. And then just hit apply, hit okay. And then we're done there. Then in OBS, you're going to want to do this. Add a new audio input capture. And for the device, choose cable output. And that's it. That is literally it. Now you have audio in OBS. I'm recording this in OBS right now. You can tell I'm using one of the cute little filters in the corner down there. Problem solved, fixed. It works great. 
I hope that I saved you 10 hours of headache like I had, because this was nonsense. I, I don't know why this doesn't just work out of the box. For what we pay for these interfaces, uh, it should. But everything else about the thing is great. I'm sure I'm gonna love it, but now I am going to throw together some half-ass thumbnail and I'm gonna get this thing up on my YouTube channel quick and hopefully if anybody's searching for it, you guys can find it and solve the problem because all that ASIO and this and that and banana and all that other stuff, not only was it super confusing, but it didn't work for me anyway. Uh, apparently there was some issue with uh, OBS 30 that broke something with the ASIO and it was all on GitHub and nobody's maintaining the code anymore, whatever. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you later.